In the last of our series, Jerome Jennings, product manager, discusses the importance of fan blade design and operation in Marley cooling towers. Hello, Jerome. We've noticed these fan blades are different colors. Does fan blade coating make a difference? We've got here a Hudson Tough Light 2, which is the blue blade, Hudson Tough Light 3, which is the white blade, and then the Marley HP 7000, which is the gray blade over here. So when we talk about these colors, blue and white for the Hudson, that's actually because they paint uh, a layer of paint onto these blades uh, after the manufacturing process. So it makes the blades look nice coming out of the factory. However, it's, it's a coating uh, that can flake off, uh, crack over time, um, and then once it's gone, it can leave your blade exposed to sunlight, moisture, etc. The difference with the Marley blade is that it's gray, but it's not paint. It's actually uh, a pigment that is infused into the resin during the process. So as the resin is going throughout the, the fibers in the mold, it's, it's got that gray color with it. So no need for painting afterwards and it's not gonna flake off over time because it's infused within the part. What about single piece fan blade construction? Is it better? So the Hudson blade, particularly the Tough Light twos, which are very common in the field, are actually two pieces. So they have the main shank portion and then they have kind of a rubber boot here with a mechanical joint going to the rest of the blade. Obviously you have some stress concentrations that can build up there, which is a concern. Uh, Hudson's changed that with the Tough Light 3. They've gone to more of a single piece, uh, like the Marley has been for many years. Describe what makes the Marley fan blades so strong. The HP 7000 design here has a, a very large shank. I don't know if you can see that on film here, but uh, we've got about an eight and a quarter, eight and a half inch shank on the, uh, on the Marley HP 7000, eight and a half inch, versus the Hudsons here that are only six and a quarter inch in diameter. So that gives a lot more strength to the blade, especially as it's being clamped into the hub. It allows that force to spread out and uh, gives, gives a longer lasting blade. So another thing about strength is the, the orientation of the fibers within the blade. And we actually proof load all the, all the Marley HP 7000 blades. Uh, particularly on the larger sizes, when you get up to a certain diameter and above, these are all proof loaded and they have to pass at the factory. They get loaded, they get, they get set in a, a device and loaded and they have to sur surpass 1,100 pounds of buckling force. So these blades survive that. They actually can survive up to about 1,300, 1,250 pounds of uh, buckling force. Whereas the Hudson Tough Flight 3 here uh, can only handle about 850 pounds and the Tough Flight 2 about 900 pounds. So these Hudson blades wouldn't even pass our standard uh, Marley criteria for, for uh, buckling strength. And tell us about the blade tip design. How does the Marley flare tip improve efficiency? So one of the things you'll notice is that on both of these Hudson designs, they're actually continuing to taper, 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 taper all the way to the tip. Whereas the Marley has a trademark flare tip that goes actually goes out right at the blade tip. So as that fan blade's passing inside that fan cylinder, it's uh, capturing that last bit of air before it wants to drop off the blade and getting it directed up and out the cylinder. So that helps with efficiency and performance. One more question, Jerome. What about erosion resistance? On the leading edges of all these blades, there is a, a protective strip. And in the, the Marley design, we use a nylon barrier strip. So all those moisture particles that are coming up through the cooling towers, they're hitting and impacting that front edge of the blade. A nylon barrier strip is going to give you very long life uh, in that kind of condition. Whereas these Hudson blades are using a different type of material. Uh, they call it the tough edge, an alumina silica. And they've actually, we've actually done tests at the SPX Research uh, Development Center that shows that our leading edge, the Marley leading edge, uh, loses a lot less material over time in those kind of conditions. Thanks, Jerome, for the insights about key SPX cooling tower mechanical components. For more information, go to spxcooling.com slash parts.